back with another video. So today I'm going to share with you my August Shoot My Stash. The products I've been using up and loving and um, yeah. So I hope you guys enjoy this video and let's get started. So for hair care, I'm using the L'Oreal and Bio Dream Links for strong shampoo and super detangler conditioner. Now the shampoo is like here. Um, conditioner is like way down here so this is gonna be gone probably within the next week um, but I can always pair this with another conditioner um, but yeah um, I love it and it's one of my favorite shampoo and conditioners and then for body wash I'm using the gel rebalancing white peach and white tea um, I got this at Ross for $8.99 um, this is a great investment. I've been using this for a whole month and I'm on the second month now and it's still like, it's at the bottom now, but this got me through quite a bit and using um, a cloth or a rag, it's, it, I'm not using as much product as I normally would and a little bit goes a long way, so I love this. Um, I would repurchase this scent again. It smells amazing. It's very sweet, sugary, candy type, but I'm not always in the mood for it. But because I've been using a lot of warm scents lately, um, like cocoa butters and, and things like that, this is a nice switch. And yeah, I will be completing this for the month of... Um, August and then I'll use you know something else for fall um, but I love this and yeah I would repurchase it and I'm pairing that with the Dove Soothing Care Candendula Oil I'm, there's not much progress on it but that's what I was pairing it with um, but I decided to finish up the sensitive skin and yeah I'm just using this up so I can get rid of it and then I can use this as an all over body as well because this is great for sensitive skin so you can use it in those areas and it won't irritate you it doesn't irritate me um, so yeah you do have a variety well you do have options when it comes to sensitive skin for um, for dub products so you have the sensitive skin and then you got the calendula oil so um, and then for face wash, I'm using the, well, face cleanser. I'm using a gentle skin cleanser from um, Equate, and it's like halfway through now. So probably by next month, this will be gone. And then I'll use the um, Derma Series from Dub. I'll use the bar soap. And um, since it's the last one that I have in that pack, I just want to use it up and then I'll go back to my cleanser. Um, I am also using the lotion um, and it's more than halfway through. No, there's more than half of product left. So a little bit does go a long way with that as well. And I don't always use it every day either. If I'm going outside, I'll use sunscreen I still putting that on and I'll put that on when I get out of the shower when I come in I'll use that um, later but that's why that's a full bottle because I don't always use it every day um, and then uh, for um, toothpaste I'm using the Crest Pro Health Clean Mint and it's about like that much progress um, there's not much progress of the um, mouthwash as well, but we're getting there. I do use a little bit at a time and I do dilute it with water because it's very strong. I've always found mouthwash to be very strong and I just never really loved like the burning sensation that it gives. And it just, it really like, my teeth and my gums are very sensitive because I'm a retainer, so when I have to use mouthwash with alcohol in it, it just, it really, like, it really hurts. So, 
that's why that's a full bottle but this is work in progress for deodorant i started using the dove nourishing secrets vanilla and cocoa butter it's a brand new it, it smells you get more of the vanilla than you do cocoa butter it's okay but i thought it would pair well with the nourishing secrets restoring ritual coconut and jasmine flower and this is halfway through so i want to use this up and i thought it would pair perfectly with this because it has like that like i don't know it just it smells good together um so that's how i'm pairing that um i'm also using the huggies natural care cucumber and green tea so this is uh for sensitive skin as well so you have the original that's fragrance free and then you have this one with the cucumber and green tea i have been using it and it hasn't irritated me and it's very gentle so um i've been using it for that um natural care is supposed to be for sensitive skin so i haven't gotten any irritation from it and it works well for me and i do have one more pack um under my bed but that's what i'm currently using now um and then for body care for victoria's secret i started using the bare vanilla and this is whip vanilla soft cashmere and this one smells amazing and i've been using this everywhere i've been using it all over me all over the room the house i absolutely love it and it just sits and after you spray it if you let it sit for about a minute or two you get like a sweet vanilla instead of like a smoky vanilla you get like a sweet vanilla like caramelized vanilla scent it's it smells amazing i love it this is a perfect fall scent but i want to use this up before i get any more but this is a repurchase for sure but i really wanted some new fragrances that i haven't had before so that's why i decided not to go with that just yet um and then i'm also using the love and um i started using this um a couple weeks ago and it smells amazing i love it i would repurchase it and i'm also using the Raikiki beach coconut and i already used up the body cream because it was going bad so i had to i was using it as a moisturizer and then i had to use it as a shaving cream because it was going bad on me but this is beach coconut pink passion flower saltwater breeze fish fresh bamboo sun bleach words this is amazing i absolutely love it and i would repurchase it again and i have have plenty of that but that's an odor bottle from 2018 and then i'm also using the co the christmas cocoa and mint body cream and this is decadent milk chocolate thin mint cookies marshmallow fluff this one i didn't want to wait any any longer it is like a dark yellow but it smells amazing um i have been using it as a moisturizer and there's nothing wrong with it so i want to get this used up by october so that's why i just started using this one before the others um this one seems to be turning and i don't want it to get it i don't want it to get that chunky uh texture like the um Waikiki beach coconut did um but this one is still very good so i am um using that now um I'm also using the Dove Nourishing Body Care Body Cream. This is in the Rose Scent. I started using this, and I like to use this before I do like my beading or my word searches, color with me, um, things like that. I'll just, I'll use a little bit before I start filming that video. So it is still a very new product, um, but it's very moisturizing. It feels like a lotion at first, but after a few minutes, you get that cream um, consistency, and it's really good. 
I would repurchase this again and I got it in Dollar Tree. Um, I also have been using the Medline Remedy Intensive Skin Therapy Repair Cream in Orange Vanilla. This is amazing. I think I have like 10 of these left. And yeah, I would repurchase it again. Um, but yeah, this one I'm currently using and I'll use this after every time I wash my hands. I'll put this on and yeah, I'm a repetitive hand washer if you didn't know. <laughs> I My hands are always raw and yeah, but they've been great lately. They've been good. So I've been, yeah, moisturizing more often than most. Um, I also have been using a Cetaphil Advanced Relief Cream and Shea Butter. And this for dry skin, this is amazing. This was $4.99 in Marshalls and I would definitely repurchase it again. It is very moisturizing. I like to use this for my feet and my legs, especially at back of my heels. And this has been working wonders for me. So um, I was using the foot cream from Dr. Teal's, but I thought I would use this up because I want to get a new, but I want to try this because you know, Cetaphil really look, <laughs> I can speak. Cetaphil works well for me. So I'm glad that I found that. And yeah, um, I'm also using the Dr. Scholl Severe Cracked Heel Balm. And this has like, um, this has Epsom salt and essential oils. Um, this smells really good. It smells like eucalyptus and spearmint. Um, but I use this on my heels first. I'll put this all over my feet and I'll let it soak in and then um, I'll put in like a body cream on top of it or like the foot cream. So I'll put this on first and then I'll put this on afterwards and it works well. Sometimes I'll put Vaseline on um, throughout the day if um, my feet are just really, really cold and I can't keep them warm enough, I'll put the Vaseline on just to lock in the, the, the moisture to keep them hydrated because um, Vaseline is good for that, but this works too. And I would repurchase it again, um, but I do have Raynaud's and it's um, like poor circulation when it comes to uh, cold or heat, um, cold or hot, uh, and um, my feet get really cold to where they become numb, they are achy, they turn pale, or um, they start um, turning purple, especially here in this, this area. Um, if I wash my hands in cold water, this right here would turn purple. So, um, yeah, but to keep them moisturized, I put the Vaseline on if I can't keep my feet warm enough. Um, this is Palmer's Coconut Body Oil. This one I'm currently using now in my shower. There's no way I'm going to get through this by the end of this month so this is gonna roll over into September and that's great because this has like like a coconut cocoa butter type scent and this is great for fall too so I'll use this for fall and winter so yeah this is a repurchase um, of course and then I'm using the Febreze fabric to go gain and this is um, I'm just using it as a like an all over spray. Um, when I go out, I'll put this on and it's just a deodorizer. I don't know, I love it. It's just perfume, but I don't know. Um, but I would purchase that again. I do have one more in my bin, but I don't know, I love the scent of Gain and it just smells amazing. And I'm uh, using up the Air April Fresh Downy Scent and it's like, I don't know, it's down here somewhere, <laughs> but yeah, this one I'm currently using, I love this, it smells amazing, 
and I would repurchase it. That was a double pack. Um, I would be getting more of those. Um, he was actually looking for air freshener the other day. Um, he was using bleach in his bathroom and it, like, it, the scent just lingered through the entire house and he wanted some air freshener to cover up the smell so I don't start, you know, my allergies don't start bothering me um because i'm allergic to bleach too <laughs> so this is a really good deodorizer it it really does mask odors and um chemical scents um as well that's really good for that um i'm currently using the chapstick total hydration soothing vanilla i would repurchase this again um and this is what I'm currently working on. So I don't always wear this. I always use like, um, before I film my videos, I'll just put on some lip gloss and then, yeah. But throughout the day and at night, I use this, especially when I'm out, I'll um, wear more chopstick because of the heat. Um, I'm also using the Narciso Rodriguez Musk Noir for her. And um, I do have the full size perfume over there. It was a Christmas gift and I love it. It just, it smells like, it smells like rose and powder. It has like a powder scent with rose scent combined. It smells amazing. So this one I'm currently trying to use up and I have the lotion in my bag, and that's what I'm using up as well. It's a set. Um, but yeah, that's currently what I'm using as of now. Some of these products are almost gone. You see that in my empties um, at the end of the month. But that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.